everyone, this is Susie Q, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have Heidi with me, and Heidi is going to be doing Theme Thursday with me, and um, today's theme is Peter Rabbit, or just Bunny Rabbits, or uh, Dressing You Reborn in Easter Egg Colors. And so um, I've today what I've chosen is to put Heidi in a um, in a Peter Rabbit outfit and Suzanne of uh, Suzanne's babies doesn't know this but I'm going to surprise her um, with putting Heidi into um, an outfit that she sent um, that she actually put um, her he Heidi's cousin Ginny into uh, for theme Thursday and so Suzanne this is a surprise I know you weren't expecting it but I'm doing twinning day with you um, with Heidi and her Peter Rabbit outfit. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I wanted to show you first, um, I have a couple of bunnies in my, uh, I have more than a couple of bunnies in my um, stuffed toy collection, but here's one of them that I just love, and this is the Precious Moments Bunny, and um, it's really a soft, soft uh, plushy bunny with a little fluffy tail. And, and she's got the, that, uh, the Precious Moments eyes, and she's just adorable. And she's got wires in her ears so that you can pose them. And so I'm going to be leaving her here while we get Heidi changed. And then I wanted to also show you that I have a Peter Rabbit um, storybook, and it's the um, Complete Tales of Beatrix Potter's Peter Rabbit. And it's got... Um, the Tale of Peter Rabbit, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny, uh, The Tale of Mr. Todd, and The Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies. So um, I thought that was pretty cool that I could show that today, um, you know, for the today's theme. So let's go ahead and get started and um, get Heidi all changed up into her surprise outfit for her cousin Jenny. And she wanted to say hi to her cousin Jenny. Um, which she always likes to remember to do. So hi, Cousin Jenny and Auntie Suzanne. Okay, this is the outfit that uh, Suzanne put on her Jenny. And it's a Peter Rabbit outfit, of course. And um, Suzanne had sent this, um, gosh, I think it was last year, uh, for Twinning Day one day. And um, so it's a, it's a onesie, a long sleeve onesie that has Peter. Well, actually, those are the sister bunnies to Peter Rabbit. And then the onesie has different scenes of um, Peter Rabbit and the sisters on it. And uh, what I thought I would do is do sort of like a, a coordinating. I don't have matching today, but I have coordinating. And I thought this melon color um, of these, the flowers, you know, the pretty melon and the nice blue um, would, would coordinate really well with that um, with the denim color of the outfit and then these melon colored socks. But then I wanted to match up her bows and so her bows are going to be these navy blue bows. And I really like these. They, they're they the ones that have, they're like um, lacy and they have cutouts in them. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, Heidi, right now she's holding her, her little, this is the toy that she has, um, takes it everywhere she goes, and it says, um, my first doll. <laughs> and she actually, um, uh, Emma Bennett um, reborn this, this baby doll, and she sent this doll along with her, and she's had it ever since. And then she's also holding this little tiny bunny, um, this is very special to me. Um, my husband, back in 1989, had gotten me an Easter basket. Um, his The one and only Easter basket that I ever got from him. And uh, I think it was the year that I said, you know, that I was getting, I go, gosh, you know, the Easter Bunny always brings everyone else Easter baskets, but I, I never get an Easter basket, you know. So one year he, one year he surprised me. He got me an Easter basket, and he put this little tiny bunny, I mean, it's just a little tiny bunny um, in it, and um, I was just thrilled. And the reason I know it was back in 1989 is because it still has, I still have the tag on it, and he had gotten, it was from Gibson Greetings, and I don't even know if they're still around or not, um, 
or if Hallmark took them over, I don't know, but it was copyrighted 1989. So uh, it's a it's a greeting card company that used to be, and they still might be around. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is a very special bunny to me, and I I wanted to bring that little bunny on. Okay, um, so yeah, I have a story that I want to tell you guys, and um, it was a scary, it's a scary <laughs> incident that happened to me, and it happened to me on um, late afternoon uh, Tuesday at dinner time. So while I get Heidi changed, I will uh, tell you what happened. So I was, um, you know, my daughter and I always cook dinner together. And um, we get along really well in the kitchen, by the way. we uh, she's, She calls me, I'm the cook, and then she's, she's the, the sous chef, she says. And so she helps me out in the kitchen. And we actually um, work really well, meaning that we can kind of like read each other's minds when it comes to cooking. Because she'll, I'll, I'll leave a pot going and... She'll come over and stir it without me asking her and vice versa. We'll just kind of, you know, take over each other's uh, cooking things whenever the need arises. And um, we just work really well together. But anyway, um, that was sort of a sidebar. Uh, we So we were talking and um, my daughter asked me, uh, oh, um, it was... Um, you know, she had said, oh, you know, we're going to be going grocery shopping uh, tomorrow. And I said, yeah. And she said, well, you know, what time do you, should we leave? And so um, my husband, um, I usually ask my husband what time he wants to leave. I mean, he's the driver and, you know, he knows what, you know, when we should, should go. Usually when we leave is um, 11 o'clock uh, because we have a doctor appointment every three weeks my daughter does um and it's at twelve fifteen, so we always leave at 11 to make sure we um we get there in time anyway so she asked me what time are we leaving and i said oh yeah you know i that's right last time we went shopping we left a little early because um you know it was just the beginning of um people panic buying at the stores and we wanted to make sure that we got there early enough to you know get food <laughs> So I go, oh, shoot, you know, I should have asked your dad. And um, so I didn't. I, you know, I'd forgotten to ask him before he left the house. And um, I thought, oh, I'm going to I'm going to go run and catch up with him and see if I can find out what time. So anyway, um, I went I went out the back door. I, I actually I opened the back door and uh, we have a couple of steps that are not actually steps. They're blocks of. They're cement blocks, and it's sort of like a, a temp, some temporary steps um, until he can get around to uh, building me um, some wooden, some you know regular wooden stairs. Um, what I'd like is like three steps down. It's a three step down. It's probably a good two and a half to three feet down. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so I was when I when I opened the the back door, um, I was actually looking in one uh, a particular direction because I thought, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to catch him and maybe I can catch him at this certain point. So as I was looking towards that direction, um, I started. I stepped out the door and the next thing I know, I am tumbling head over heels off of those steps and onto the ground and it it shocked me it was it was like um it, you know it it seemed like slow motion to me when i was um falling and i ended up on the sidewalk um there's you know there's grass um that's there's a lot of grass that's near the stairs but um, unfortunately, I was, uh, you know, looking in the, the direction towards the sidewalk, and so that's the direction that I decided to leap off of the stairs, and I, <laughs> you know, so to speak. I, I didn't do it on purpose. I I don't know what happened. Um, I ended up flying um, across the sidewalk, and it was about, a, it was, I flew about three feet away from the stairs, and I hit the sidewalk, 
and I remember it felt like I was uh, tumbling, just tumbling sideways, you know, just tumbling and tumbling, and I ended up about three feet from the back door. No, now I'm saying three feet, but no, it was longer than three feet. It, it, it was more like, it was like two or three, three sidewalk squares. It was a long ways away. And um, my daughter happened to be uh, watching out the kitchen window and she saw me stumble. And so she ran out and um, I didn't get knocked out. And after I was done falling, I kind of, you know, sat up. I couldn't get, get up because I had, my left um, knee had been banged really hard on the side. It was, you know, in the spot where if you bang your knee there, it's just like a funny bone or something. Oh boy, that it really hurt. <laughs> so anyway, um, she came out, oh mom, are you okay? And she tried to help me up. And I said, well, I need to sit here for a minute because I don't think, I said, I, I hurt my left knee. <laughs> And I wasn't, I go, I don't think it's broken because I can still move it. But anyway, she said, she goes, um, I guess what I did was I started laughing because when I sat up, I remember sitting up and looking over at the, the kitchen window and wondering, and then looking at the back door and wondering how the heck I got there. How did I get there? Like what happened? I had no idea what happened because I, you know, I know that there's, there's those cement steps down there, and I know that I need to step down. Uh, but some some reason, I decided to become Superwoman and see if I could fly. And um, so I flew, <laughs> and it's a, it was the weirdest sensation of being out of control and just waiting to see what was going to happen in midair, you know, that type of a feeling. So anyway... Um, after I sat there for a few minutes, I discovered that I was okay. Um, my left knee felt, um, you know, kind of shaky, but it, you know, it was all right. And so I ended up um, standing, I stood up and I was able to walk back to the kitchen and, um, you know, uh, continue doing what we were doing in the kitchen. And anyway, uh, I... My, I was, my daughter said, um, I know that my daughter was laughing, you know, she was like giggling out, out there when she was with me. And I, and I said, gee, Shmel, you know, um, when I told her the story about laughing at misfortunes, <laughs> I used to have a really bad habit of doing that. Um, but that's another story. Anyway, I told her that, and then I started laughing, and I said, um, she goes, well, Mom, you were laughing. I was just, she goes, I was scared for you, but then you were laughing, so I started laughing, you know? I go, really? I was laughing? <laughs> so I must have been, like, in shock, and um, my first reaction was to laugh, because um, it was such a weird, you know, experience that, uh, you know, it was so unexpected. But, um, but anyway, I got through it and, uh, she said, oh, gosh, mom, I hope, you know, I hope you're going to be okay. And I said, yeah, I'm going to, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll be fri fine right now. I'm feeling fine. But I think what might happen is, um, you know, tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm, I might be stiff, you know, how that is after you fall or have an accident and, it, and you don't always, you know, get the repercussions of it that day it's like afterwards and especially when you're old <laughs> you're uh, like me anywho um it was really a scary thing and uh so you know it taught me from now on i i i think what happened was i i didn't have my mind on what i was doing i was focused on i need to find my husband to find out what time <laughs> that we're going to go shopping the next day. So, uh, but anyway, I, I laughed about it with my daughter the rest of the evening because it was just, to me, it was sort of a weird thing, kind of funny. I mean, it could have turned out in a disaster. Um, I'm 65 and I know that people my age, you know, and older, as we age, we break bones, break hips, you know, that type of thing. I could have banged my head. I, I mean, I landed on, I landed on the sidewalk and I did get some sidewalk, um, 
I don't know what you call them, you know, scrapes on both of my elbows and a um, couple of scrapes on my knee. Thank goodness I was wearing jeans. But, um, but yeah, I felt so lucky that I didn't get hurt in that experience. So it was, but it did shake me up quite a bit. <laughs> um, then I, uh, you know, I asked my husband, yeah, cause he, he's really busy and he doesn't have time to, you know, just build things at my every whim, but, um, it just, it just reminded him that he needed to build some decent steps on there. It's not his fault that he didn't build the steps. I might've, I probably would have just fallen anyway because, um, my mind wasn't on, on getting out the door. So, um, but anyway, um, yeah. So we did end up going shopping, uh, yesterday. Uh, and it was, it was different. Um, there weren't as many people out shopping as th three weeks ago when we first went out. The stores weren't as crowded. Um, I didn't go into Walmart uh, with my husband because I didn't need I didn't need to buy anything there, so I waited in the car. Um, when we went to Aldi, it was different. Let's see, they had uh, they were only allowed twenty people at a time in their store. That was um, we were in Harris County, and that was the limit to the Aldi stores in Harris County. Uh, in Clarksburg. So, um, so anyway, even though, uh, my husband and my daughter and I were all three shopping together, you know, we all three go into Aldi and we buy the, the, uh, groceries that we need separately. Um, my husband and I go together and then my daughter goes separately. We all had to wait in a line outside, uh, waiting for other people to come out so that we could get our shopping done. And, uh, you know, people, as people came out one by one, then we were allowed to go in. And so I, I went in first, and then my husband and daughter were waiting in line. <laughs> and um, they eventually came in, like, within five minutes, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, but the funny thing was, and it was, not, you know, not a funny thing. I know that they're just trying to keep people safe, and I appreciate that. But we came in as a family. Um and in waiting in line, they told they told us that we had to, even though we came in as a group, a group of three, we still had to stand six feet feet apart in line. <laughs> um, so anyway, because and I I um, had said, well, um, well, we're a family, you know, we came in together. You still have to stand apart. And she said, yeah, that's the that's the rules. So um, later on, my husband told me that. When, in talking to the lady that was uh, watching the line, she said that uh, one of the stores in West Virginia, the one where she used to work, had got closed down because they didn't follow the, the rule of so many people per store. And so the health department came in and closed them down completely. And so she lost her job and um, she ended up getting a job as a, um, you know, a doorkeeper at this Aldi. Um, so she, you know, it's no wonder that she was adamant about it. it didn't matter, you know, if you're family or not family, you're going to follow the rules. Cause she goes, you know, um, I, if I lose this job, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, but anyway, we were fine. We got the groceries that we needed and, um, uh, you know, it was, it, there's no, no incidents. Um, so that was good. Anyway, uh, so we have Heidi all dressed up, and um, I've no I've been noticing that the, her her gorgeous blue eyes are uh, really liking this this color of blue. So um, it really looks good with her. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed our our theme Thursday. And um, again, hello Jenny, from your your Auntie Susie Q, and from your cousin Heidi. Um, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my video today. And until we meet again, bye-bye.